Hello, my name is Eddie Wall. We are here for the 2016-2017 Transworld Snowboarding Goodwood board test. This year we decided to break the test up into two locations. So we did the park board testing in Vermont at Corinthia at Mount Snow Resort. And now we're doing the all mountain board testing here in Aspen, Colorado. Each year we receive questions asking us exactly how the Goodwood test is performed and how we select the final winners. So this year I am taking you behind the scenes at the test center to show you exactly how it's done. Here we are in our test center and behind me you can see some of our testers. Transworld carefully selects riders from all over the country with extensive backgrounds in snowboarding. We have a total of 30 testers, both male and female, testing the boards in all sorts of terrain. So they make their way over to this wall here and they find whatever board they're gonna be testing that day and then they bring it over to the station to get it all set up. At that point comes the fun part. Then you just walk a few feet, you strap in, and then you go test the board. After the riders are done taking a few laps on the board, then comes the important part, which is the scoring or the judging of the actual board. This year we set it up where we have an app, so every rider just gets on their cell phone and as soon as they're done riding or even on the chairlift, they can go onto the app and then start filling out the form that we have set up. The scorecard has a bunch of different categories that really help define and break down the board. There's different categories like how it ollies and nollies, the pop, the flex, the torsional flex. It also has things like how the board carves, whether it makes big long turns or how it handles in tight trees. We've really tried to make sure that every detail of the board is covered. There are also different comment boxes on the app and that way the rider can get more specific about what he liked and disliked about the board. Once the testers are finished filling out the form, they hit submit and all the information goes to a database and it's compiled and forms an overall general view of the board. And that's really important because it takes everybody's opinions, the goods, the bads, the greats, everything, and puts them together. And that way it is impossible for bias to arise. We spent four days at each location testing over 100 board models. In the end, the testers' results awarded 44 total winning boards, 22 Park and 22 All Mountain. This year, we brought back the bang for your buck category. These are the highest performing boards with the most affordable price. This way, you know you're getting an amazing snowboard that won't break the bank. We know that buying a snowboard is a big investment and that is why for nearly two decades we have been perfecting the Goodwood board test. So when you see that Goodwood stamp of approval, you know that you're gonna get a board that performs well.